This segment is sponsored by Alflorex Precision Biotics. <sighs> Uh, scientists in Cork have carried out a study in conjunction with the Irish Rugby Football Union which revealed that exercise and associated dietary changes influence good gut bacteria. They studied the guts of 46 players from the Irish rugby squad and compared them to volunteers and found that these elite athletes have significantly more good gut bacteria than the average person does. Here to tell us more about the study and why it matters is Professor Michael Malloy, former Chief Medical Officer to the International Rugby Board and former Irish Rugby International Emmett Byrne. Lads, good morning to you both. Uh, Professor, I might come to you first because... I didn't, I wasn't overly surprised because I was thinking, well, of course they're going to have better gut health and flora and fauna and all the rest of it because they're super healthy, they're eating right, sure. they're exercising loads. So I'd be worried if, if they weren't healthier than us. So why are those findings impactful? Why are they important? They're important because for the, for, well, not the first time, but uh, if for, in this particular study showed that the healthier person will have a more diverse bowel flora and more diverse bowel flora is the secret to your well-being. So the... Any one of us who've got diverse flora, flora we're fitting well. If we have chronic disease like diabetes or obesity or other diseases, your bi microbiota are narrow, smaller spectrum, and therefore uh, you're, you're, you're unwell. It signifies illness, whereas the broad spectrum, the, the diverse flora signifies well-being, as we, dis we discovered with the rugby. We picked a rugby team because they were all fit yeah. and healthy and they were pre-World Cup and so on. And it was a very interesting study, and we've, we've looked at a comparable, comparable air age group as well and found that their, their, their results were different because they weren't fit and healthy. Yes, oh, the, the, everyone would love the, sort of the luxury of that full-time professional sports yeah. person when yeah. things are handed to you and here's your, your sheet, here's your supplements, here's your protein intake yeah. and requirements. But for most people watching at the moment don't have that, but people who might like to sort of go for a run and maybe look after their diets, are there other ways that they can, they can, they can improve their gut bacteria? S certainly. I mean, uh, the, uh, the exercise is what we want to talk about, really. Yeah. Exercise is the secret for, for everything, for the quality of life, for well-being, for controlling illness, preventing illness. It's been shown worldwide over many, many years. And a big part of that is the microbiota, the bowel the organisms that we live in symbi symbiosis with and are necessary for us to, to, to be well and so on fit. So the, the, a good diet is important, and, and, and Emmett will tell us about his experiences there. So you have to eat properly, and it has to includes protein. And in the, the players that we looked at, they had 40% of their intake was protein. That seems to be an important factor in the bowel health which gives you good health. Having a higher protein intake. Exactly. Where, where and the exercise on top of that. So, the, so, so exercise directly impacts yeah. on your gut Does. flora. Yeah. That's amazing. Particularly in those people who also have the proper diet. The diet. Yeah. So if you keep your... It's a double your, whammy if you can get the diet on the exercise. Exactly. What and, about and protein sources then? I mean, is it the normal or is it... I mean, well, it depends. There's I mean, a lot of supplements involved, aren't the, there? The, the supplements, drinks. well, the supplements obviously do make a difference, I mean, because they add in the extra uh, vitamins and yeah. other elements that are necessary. But I think the other area that we found was have, works as well as being well published is the use of probiotics. They actually add to the health of the bowel. So if we, for instance, uh, we, we, you're taking your protein, you're exercising you have a good diet, you're well. If you add in a probiotic on top of that, that gets rid of the, uh, the, of the bad organisms in your yeah. bowel, and there will be some there are the fungi in your bowel. So that's the probably perfect match. Uh, and obviously this is something that's encouraged in athletes in, in the general population as well, and in people with disease. So eat well, high protein intake, yeah. exercise, take exercise. a probiotic. Yeah. Okay, Emmett, did you do all of those things? <laughs> <laughs> you could <laughs> do, you do, do it all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, design. I don't think... Uh, uh, what we, it's a bit more scientific now at this stage when, when we were doing it. It was about kind of hypertrophy getting bigger and stronger, yeah. I suppose, was the essence of kind of, because the game was going that way, so you had to get a diet that suited that way. So it went from a, a breakdown of 50, kind of 30, 20 in the form of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, now to more of a protein-orientated diet. So it was 20 the, protein back then, 50 yeah, carbs, 30 yeah, fats. Yeah. The emphasis was on carbohydrates back then. So it which, switched completely. Which was, which was, well, yeah, because carbohydrates were seen as the main source of uh, energy and metabolism. We used a thing called glycolysis, which gave us a stored glycogen in our bodies, which you'd use, which would be the fastest acting outside of adenosine triphosphate, which, which is burns after six seconds. So they used uh, the way to top that up was through eating carbohydrates. However, they've discovered, though, that excessive carbohydrates now lead to, lead to a deranged metabolism. And this is what happens with things like diabetes and stuff. Your sugar levels go up. And what actually happens with the gut as well is that there's things like, I'm sure you heard of high fructose corn yeah. syrup and stuff like this, yeah. which is almost ubiquitous in kind of processed and foods. Really and really bad for yeah. you. Uh, extremely bad. But it was a guy called Bruce Ames, who's a professor of, um, of nutri biochemical nutrition in the States, discovered by looking at kids that 
you're using more energy in the form of phosphates and digesting this stuff through the gut, which weaken the, what we call the tight junctions in the gut, which make it more permeable to things like it, toxins and waste products, which increases these inflammatory cytokines in the body, which lead to things that Michael were talking about, like diseases such as obesity, and etc., etc. So rugby players generally have a, a low inflammatory diet, and that's one of the key components, and protein will be a process that, because they need more energy, rugby players, because they're bigger and their output is higher. So how do you get that energy? It's through macronutrients, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, and they shift from a higher sugar base to a lower to a higher protein, and that would be one of the reasons why you're doing this. Uh, the ex- what, what, what would you be taking in six thousand calories? A pig training? Well, would be that there's, 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 there's old wives' tales. There's the Michael Phelps notion of twelve. To eat that level of food in a clean diet is extremely difficult. Right. I'll give you an idea. A guy who's a bodybuilder in, in there's a bodybuilder in America who used to say he used to eat ten thousand calories a day of clean food. That he'd have to eat a bath full of rice to do that. Like okay. that's the kind of so yeah. he's telling lies, obviously. So the the reality is that I'd say somewhere between four and five, maybe it would be it would be for a rugby player, and they'd break that up into about six meals. And then it goes back to what Michael was saying. What accommodates that is using supplements. It's very hard to eat five thousand calories in clean food a day. Very difficult yeah. to do that. Ordinary people don't need to go near that. Yeah. You do not need to be doing that. Just, we, just to get started, yeah. for our viewers who are watching, you, you, yeah. you, fructose you mentioned, you, you yeah. know, people hear sugar, awful sugar is the, the yeah. new enemy. What do they replace it with? Uh, any well, preferences? Well, the, see, the thing is, we've acquired a taste for sugar, which yeah. we, sh- we, don't, we shouldn't have really at the end of the day. And it's like, it's, it's a drug essentially, if you like, you know, and that we can get addicted to. And it. everything. And it's based on normal sugar, which is your sucrose grown in, in you know, in the form of cane or beet over in, say, the Caribbean as such, is a disaccharide, two sugars, a glucose and fructose, which would be a 50-50 ratio. This, what happened is in America, they, they had huge subsidies for corn, and it was turned into corn syrup and then into corn, or sorry, starch and then syrup, which is what is, which is a, a, a modified kind of disaccharide, which is fructose and glucose, with a slightly different ratio, 55-45. But what happens is, is the bond between the two sugars is very weak because it's highly processed. And this is why it goes straight through. It doesn't even need to Are be digested. Are you okay with honey, makes... Emmett, or a bit of maple syrup? That's yeah, a better fine. option. But if you're trying to lose weight, no. No, if you, okay. If you're, if, you're not, if you're not, it's fine. You know, that's the way You'd I look You'd be very it. strict, I think. There'd be no chocolate allowed. <laughs> Whatsoever, if Emmett was on the block. No, so probiotics is something the average person at home mm. who isn't going to train like a rugby player and mm. eat as clean as Emmett is suggesting, if only we all would, they should take it, a probiotic, it does, maybe. It, it does help as well. I mean, what we're trying to do is get the whole population to exercise, mm. any kind of exercise, mud and to, to monitor this, to measure it so they continue to do it and improve on it. And we know that that works, that produces your, your carbohydrate, burns off the carbohydrates and it improves your bowel flora, it improves your quality of life. In fact, it works for everything, exercise. So the exercise component is, is, is critical. Uh, if you're an athlete, the diet becomes very critical as well, whereas the average person cutting back and, and taking the safer options is the best way forward. All right, Here's the wait time. Thank you very Thank much. You guys very much. Thank you. Uh, still to come, the Cheltenham Festival gets underway today. We'll be looking ahead to some of the action after the break. See you in a few months. This segment is sponsored by Alforex Precision Biotics. Ah. <sighs>